I guess. It's, it's gonna so sound like really cliche. <laughs> like it's gonna sound really like really cliche. Mm. And I guess that passion is like that fire in your belly. Like yeah. It, like it's like that. <laughs> like you get that like drive and that like motivation, and you're just like I want to do a thing. And then you're like I'm gonna do the thing. And then you do the thing, and it like works. And you're like okay, that's that's sick. Yeah. And you just have to like keep it going because otherwise. Yeah. Um, like it's really easy to just like <laughs> stop. Yeah. 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 Like, it's like a curiosity thing as well. It's like, like, you want to make something new or like make something yeah. different or like you want to like make something that other people, you can share with other people and it's different. It makes people like think about shit. Like, it's just, yeah, it's just definitely a curiosity. So my name's Siobhan. I go by the Instagram handle Lunatype. Um, <laughs> and I do handmade embroideries for like art outside of uni and then I study textile design at AUT. It's a traditional art form that I've taught myself and then do it in a more modern way I guess. Like I just do whatever I want to do. That just makes it a little bit different I guess. I'm Lily Cleary. I do like fluid abstract paintings. I just, I just, I'm just like really into colour so I was like, ooh, I just started like messing about with colour I guess. Um, I don't know, I don't know how unique or like exciting <laughs> it is, but I just have fun with it so. <laughs> um, my mum's real into art so like from a real early age I just like always hooned art because um, it was just like in a nice way like thrust upon me um when i was like in, in primary i would hang out at my auntie's house a lot and then she got me heaps of canvases and paints and then i'd like paint in front of like tv and then i just kept doing it but in different ways <laughs> my process is kind of i don't like it's really sporadic um and i only really do it when i feel like it but um like, I don't know, I try to think of maybe like a scene, like really abstractly of what it would look like, like maybe like a planet or something, um, and then try to base it off that, but it doesn't like, like it's, I mean it's quite hard, like <laughs> that's asking quite a lot. Um, yeah, it changes a lot, like every yeah. time that you do it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Like for me, as well, like it just depends what you're doing and yeah, and how I know it as well. Yeah, and it depends like if it's like a commission, yeah, then I have to like. But if it's just for me, um, then I don't know. Like it takes like it's real fast. <laughs> mm. yeah. My art process is that normally for like t-shirts, I'll just like get the t-shirts and then. Either I'll like someone will ask me for a certain design, or I'll just like start up some stuff that I think would be cool on a t-shirt and a hand embroidery, and then sell it. But then I don't know. I started doing different shit lately, so and I've been doing some large-scale things. So I've just been getting cool materials and playing with them, and then yeah, just hooning it. I guess like we're really lucky because. Um, well, I was friends with Tony, and then she worked for Carl, and we just like were like, okay, let's get amongst Monster Valley, and then Monster Valley's just been like fucking, a, um, really great to us, and so, so then like we ended up all becoming like good friends because all like the the kind of younger feminist artists, like we all kind of just like congregated and we're like, let's be friends, and then <laughs> we just kind of push each other, and then. Just, yeah, like the art scene's really out, like Monster Valley itself is really like friendly and supportive and... It's so nice. Yeah. Like, it's so, it's so whack to be like a part of such a nice community. And like, it's, yeah, like I feel like I haven't even really done much to like push, but like they're just so supportive mm. and like, oh, it's, yeah. Like honestly, like Instagram has heavily influenced my art because it's just like, I just started, like in, like when I kind of like, got really introverted then I got really into the internet 
and then found a lot of like I learned more about what I was interested in through like Instagram mostly because I'm such a visual person and then I'd also like seen a girl embroidering on the bus one time and I was like I want to do that and so then there's like heaps of really really talented embroidery artists from around the world including like um, Hannah Hill in London is my favorite and there's like really a lot of like Instagrams that I only know by the handle that are really really talented embroiderers and so like seeing what other people can do with the medium really inspires what I do. Um, I guess Instagram has influenced my art a lot um, and also um, like I work at Resine so I'm like I've got like a lot of colour around me all the time and I'm, I'm like real into colour blocks um, so yeah that's um, a bit of it as well um, but I don't know just yeah like the people around me doing stuff and just like messing around with paint um, and just like kind of like mistake things that look nice mm. <laughs> So my handle is Lunatype for both Facebook and then and um, Instagram and I'm also on Etsy as well. Um, my Facebook page is Lily Clary Artist and my Instagram handle is Little Clary with three T's. I don't know, I've been real slack lately and I've got like so much like so many people um, want paintings but I just haven't like <laughs> have, yeah just haven't been in the right um, I mean it's summer and it's I haven't been in the right zone 